The National Toxicology Program NTP, is a division of the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, and in 2018, the NTP released a study on the potential health effects of exposure to cell phone radiation. The study exposed rats to the same radio frequency, RF radiation, that is emitted by cell phones, and the results were alarming. The study found that male rats exposed to RF radiation had a higher incidence of tumors, with 1 in 12 rats developing malignant or precancerous lesions. This translates to a probability of 7.69%. The tumors were primarily located in the brain and heart, the same organs affected by cancer that ultimately claimed the life of Jimmy Gonzalez, who was 100% correct about predicting his cell phone caused his brain and heart cancer. While this cancer probability is specific to rats, it is important to note that there has never been a study in the history of scientific research that has shown 1 in 12 rats developing cancer from exposure to a substance or agent that was subsequently proven to be safe for humans. The study also found a non-linear dose-response relationship, meaning that the lower the dose of RF radiation, the greater the incidence of tumors. The rats in the study were exposed to RF radiation at levels that were well below the current regulatory limits for human exposure, which has led some to question the safety of current exposure limits. The NTP study used a 10-minute on-off cycle for RFR exposure, totaling 12 hours a day. Yet real-world cell phone use often exceeds these intervals, with longer durations and constant body contact. It's crucial to consider real-world use may exceed the 1.5 watts per kilogram NTP simulation. The one thing the NTP study taught us was that the dose response is not linear. The power levels were 1.5, 3, and 6 watts per kilogram. The facts are that the study found the biggest biological effect at the lower exposure levels and not the higher exposure levels. This shows us a non-linear response, pointing to a thermic bioelectric effects from RFR exposure. Second, two of the three power levels used were lower than common cell phone limits. Third, many people now have 5G towers at their doorsteps, and satellite companies now put cell towers in space. This accounts for cradle-to-grave RFR exposure, just like the NTP lab rats. The NTP study is one of the largest and most comprehensive studies to date on the potential health effects of cell phone radiation. It has been met with both praise and criticism, with some questioning the relevance of the study to human health while others have pointed to the importance of taking precautionary measures to reduce exposure to RF radiation. One of the most significant findings of the NTP study is the incidence of tumors in the brain and heart, the same organs affected by the cancer that ultimately claimed the life of Jimmy Gonzalez. Learn more about cell phone radiation at rfsafe.www.rfsafe.com.